Welcome cuties, let's create. Today I'm gonna do a craft using an Ikea picture frame. Um, I cannot take credit for this craft because I saw it online and I thought it was a good idea. Um, <clears throat> so what you do is these are the ones that you can twist on the base and I kind of struggle here for a second trying to, it was, it was a little tough. Um, but what you do is, um, and there's things that I am gonna do differently because I definitely like this idea. And so here's me attempting it, but now I can go back and I can tweak it a little to make it more perfected. Um, so what it is, is I saw a couple ideas. You can put both of the little picture protector, I guess you could say, the plastic, um, in both of them, and then if you wanted, you could have, you know, like tickets or something, and then you can put them in, and it is a cute idea, because it has this, t at the top, it has that little slit, so you could put things in it, and I saw someone put, like, little wooden leaves or something like that, so I thought that was a cute idea of going, because I don't know why I like to save tickets, um, even though... I think I threw out actually quite a bit because I'm like, why am I saving these? And they were also getting very worn out and you could no longer see the thing. Anyway, so what I did is I traced the inside of the frame. And what I'm doing is I'm actually creating um, a calendar that's gonna hang from it and then I can just flip it over. So that's why I traced the inside and then I have all these stencils that I got off Wish a long time ago. And I was kind of looking through them, trying to figure out what I liked. And I saw a hot air balloon. And I thought that was really cute. So I was like, oh, I'll do something with a hot air balloon. And I was like, I'll use these letters. Even though I don't like the font. And I don't end up using those letters because I don't like the font. So anyway... Um, I just wanted to show how easy it is that I just have Crayola crayons and I have Crayola colored pencils and what I have learned because if you I mean we've all colored with crayons coloring with crayons doesn't give a full it leaves white spaces and so what I did is I color with the crayon and then I try and find a color pencil that matches as close as I can find to the color of crayon and I color over it with colored pencil and it kind of fills it in and it actually ends up looking really good. So I've been kind of into that <laughs> recently of coloring with crayons and colored pencils. And um, so anyway, I chose these colors because I like them together. I think they look really nice. And um, anyway, there's that. Um, so obviously some of it, because these are technically actually supposed to be for like bullet journaling or something like that to use these stencils for. But I figure, you know, you can really honestly use them for whatever. So... Um, but some of the little things are so small that I end up having to draw them in. But as you can tell here in a second, it actually doesn't look too bad. Like, I don't know. I just think it, I couldn't find the right color of blue or purple, but that's okay. Then I wanted to put clouds around it. So the only thing is, because you'll see here in a minute is you put rings and I don't have the right type of rings all I had left was just a key ring and I don't know if you've ever seen it it's kind of a ring that you can like pop open and like open up I don't know how to describe it. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to create this or even just to see what I'm talking about but that's what I saw people use is these rings that you can kind of like open up and um but since the rings are so big it has the paper hang a little and so right now looking at mine I need to cut it because the paper is hanging over the the um 
the frame and I, I would want it to fit perfectly in the frame in the open area but anyway <laughs> that's besides the point so um, but that's the only thing that I would tweak is finding I don't like the key rings because I really had to spread them open and now it's hard to get paper on and so it would just be so much easier with those rings that kind of open up but anyway so I kind of wanted to create kind of a I guess you could say calendar I don't know just a nice little quote uh, picture thing and so obviously you can't have a um, hot air balloon without clouds so I just used um, I found a cloud one actually and was able to kind of I don't know why I didn't trace the bottom of them but I didn't trace the bottom of the clouds and I kind of had to redefine the shape because it looked like loopy <laughs> so anyway and then I went on Pinterest which is the love of my life uh, besides my husband um, and I found a quote by Dr. Seuss and it said today is your day and apparently it's from the oh the places you will go book and I thought that was just really cute and you know just I, I thought it felt fit very well so here I am I'm tracing out a calendar um, spread and the only thing is I am not good at finding I don't know it's hard because if you're doing an even amount of spaces it's easy to make it even but since there's seven days of a week and there's normally five week or you know you have to do one, two, three, four. yeah I have to do five even though there's technically only four but anyway besides the point apparently I say that a lot is none of my spaces are even <laughs> I have Friday is really really skinny so I'm hoping that I don't do anything on Fridays because for Friday it's really tiny to fit anything in it and I wanted to make it cute and just have not have it so plain so I ended up um, using colored pencils to color in the days that I have something going on and sometime I was kind of you know scratching it you know pulling at straws that's what it's called because I wrote like when I have to pay my bills or when I have to put out a video so I colored those in as well so here I'm looking for the rings and was highly disappointed that I couldn't find the one I wanted besides a key ring and now I have two key rings that are broken and I'm going to throw in the trash because I don't like them and the other reason why I don't like using a normal key ring is it scratched up the top of my frame trying to get it on and I wanted to try not to do that but it it happened so I was sad and I didn't want you to see me struggle forever so I ended up taped putting the camera off and putting it on so you wouldn't see and because the camera shakes and so anyway here it is on as you can see in the corner and I hole punch which apparently my hole punch doesn't work and I don't have one big enough and all I have is a heart so there are gonna be upside down hearts and yeah so I love the idea of this I think it looks really cute but there are things that I need to fix so it was a fun craft though so if you have any of these lying around try it because I now can use it I mean it's tiny enough that I have it on my desk so I actually really liked this idea and I want to see if I can find other ideas so if you have any ideas please leave a comment down below because I want to I want to use your ideas I want to I want to try all sorts of things so anyway enjoy the rest of my struggle
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, leave a like and a comment. Until next time, keep creating.